Hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel. First I want to say that uh, I'm really happy on 11th uh, June our baby boy born. I couldn't make any videos and I couldn't continue with the project because I was busy with that things. Today I received some parcels, I'm gonna do a mailbag video and I start also continue with the project Amp Camp Nelson Pass Amplifier. I did a little bits and pieces on that one. So I'm gonna come soon also with a video on that one because I still need to connect uh, all the, the new transformer, another power supply to power supply the preamplifier, which is in the same chassis with the, with the amplifier. So please subscribe, activate notification bell like that, you'll not miss the video because you're gonna receive a notification when we're gonna publish that video. And now let's go to my working bench and open these parcels which I received today. So let's start first with a little beer. Oh yeah. So I have these uh, three parcels that they come today all together. So let's start with that small one and I'm gonna keep these two for the last one. And uh, this one on description looks like it's telling me potentiometers. So let's have a look which potentiometers I have here. Yeah, looks like uh, there is two, two inside. Yeah, so let's get open those one. And I have two of those. And two of those over here. So practically are the... 10 tons potentiometers for uh, a good uh, fine adjustments. So if you don't see my last video when I did the other mailbag video that I received something, I'm gonna put it over here in the corner. I received these ones. Which are the constant current, constant voltage, adjustable. And as I say, that I want to modify my power supply. So, I need to swap with these two because this one, they are going to be mounted inside the chassis and the potentiometers on the front panel. So I ordered this one because, it, as I mentioned, is the dual rail power supply. So it's going to be positive, uh, zero, negative. So I buy two of these ones. So that's why I need... Constant current, constant voltage for one, constant current, constant voltage for the second one. So stay tuned because soon I'm gonna come also with a video when I'm gonna do this uh, dual ray power supply with this uh, nice regulating power uh, voltage, constant voltage and constant current. And definitely when I'm gonna start also doing that project, I'm gonna come with uh, a nice video, definitely. Just let me put it back on the box. So, let's see from where I buy how much I pay on this one and how fast they move over here. The potentiometers I buy from AliExpress. How you can see here, I buy twice two pieces and it's £3.42 plus another £3.42. So I pay in total £6.84 on it. And are two pieces 100k multi-turn uh, wire and potentiometer. So let's see if the seller are still selling. So yeah, the seller are still selling and you can choose between uh, 2k, 200 ohm, 500 ohm, 1k, 100 ohm, 50k, 10k, 100k, 20k. 5k and uh, yeah they are really good they are not costing too much expensive let's see when i ordered them so i ordered them on uh, 1st june and now it's 21st june so 20 days to be here if you are interested you're gonna find the link on the description below so 
So let's come with the next one in. So I'm gonna come with this box. Let's see if it says something here because I can see there is uh, something that they say Audio Circuit. So hmm. looking interested, Audio Circuit. So let's open and let's see what I order as Audio Circuit. Like that, you're gonna be surprised which project I will gonna might come and which videos you're gonna might see on my channel. So, mm, really nice, well packed, right? So, seeing like that, a nice box and with a lot of foam around. Empty. Doesn't look bad, right? So, really well protected after this form we have also the bubble wrap over here let's see how i can find the edge so it looks like the edge is here my knife okay nice wrap it also in the bubble wrap and now let's see what we have here Okay, again, more bubble wrap over here. Let's see. Just a little cut over here. And then we have another cut someplace here. Hmm. It's really well packed this one okay so oh my god it's a nice kit nice kit I can see lots of bunch of power transistors over there high voltage resistors uh, PCBs so let's have a look what it is so maybe a little cut over here and let's have a look what we have here so first of all the PCBs there is two of them so it's a LGM LGM so if it's LGM this means it's some um, audio amplifier so mm, nice that's why it's called it audio circuit because they are audio amplifier and nice to have a kit like that nice to have a new project and to see to test them to see how they work and uh, do a review on it to see if it's worth or not and here should be all the components uh, lots of components over here uh, lots of transistors oh my goodness yeah yeah lots 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 so let's see the quality of the capacitors they don't look bad so I'm not a bad quality capacitors, by the way. Not the bad ones. Let's have a look at the other ones, what they are, which capacitors. So I can see our Nichicon capacitors. So the capacitors are not bad in this kit. Other kind of capacitors. They should be these ones. They are not the bad, bad quality. So any other kind of capacitor around here a part of this model yeah i have another model over here it doesn't look also this one bad because it's a niche corner one also then what else we have here so we have these capacitors that i say that i show first ones then the niche cone and then these brown ones and as a capacitors we have some of uh, these ones these ones are not that much good i'm gonna see where they're coming and if i might find on my stock something better than these ones i'm gonna use definitely something better here we go transistors which transistor are so are 2n 5401 and they are NCC5551 
Then what else we have here? We have other transistor RC1815. Then we have 2N5401 again. Because it's one channel and one channel, right? And then we have 2N5401 again. Then a bunch of diodes, resistors. They don't look the really bad quality ones. Diodes are okay. So a bunch of resistors around. Each they are not looking the bad ones. Then we have a bit of uh, wattage ones. Hmm. As a components, they don't look the bad quality ones. Resistors are okay, diodes are okay. The wattage resistors, that they are loads. They don't look bad at all as well. They look good. So are 0 0.1 ohms, 5 watts resistors. Then we have some power transistors. Let's see which one are. So are KTA1659. And we have KTA1659. Then we have KTG. 4370A, which are these ones as well. Some power transistors, some medium power transistors, which are the H669. Then the really power, power transistors are the Toshiba. TTA1943 and TTC5200 power transistors and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them, 7 power transistors. Why 7? Hold on a second. Did I count him good? Because... I should have four, eight. So I have two. Ah, yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, and another four. So yeah, eight power transistors. And then should be these ones. One, two, three, four. They are four. Because are these ones two here and two here, and then should be this one here, each are these ones, so I should have two. So one, and where is the other one? I think I am missing. No, it's here. So all together are here. Yeah, it's a nice kit. The capacitors are really good quality, are not the really cheapest one. Uh, they look good. Uh, small heat sinks that you're gonna be over there. Yeah, let me just put in this bag because this one doesn't get has a zip. This one has a zip, so I can put all everything here, and then we're gonna see from where I buy, how much I pay on, and how fast this move it here. And that's why, please subscribe, activate the notification bell because definitely I'm gonna do a project on this one and like that you're gonna see if it's worth this kit to buy, if it sounds good because looking on the data sheet of these uh, boards and these kits mm, on paper really looks good whatever is written about this amplifier but now when I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna see if really looks like in the paper, like really low distortion, say there, has a really powerful, maybe like 150 watt per channel, something like that, I, I remember. Yeah, I remember that when I ordered this one, I was looking for something that really I can power with a lot of voltage because I just get a transformer very cheap one also that one 
I'm going to put uh, the video over there when I get it. So I get the transformer and it's very cheap and it really looks uh, good. And I want, that's why I went to buy this one. It's a L20 SE amplifier kit. That's why I went to buy this one to see how that works and I can use maybe with that transformer that has a dual 50 volts AC. I might need to modify a bit in order to get a bit lower because this one, this kit is telling me that working good uh, up to dual 65 volts DC. But if I have dual 50 volts AC, rectifying and smoothing you get to almost dual 80 volts so that's why i need to get down to open the the, the toroid and to to remove some uh, some winding down because uh, i need to maybe do a dual 35 or dual 40 ac so now let's see from where i buy how much i pay on and how fast it moves here the amplifier kit I buy it same through AliExpress and is the L20SE audio amplifier board and I ordered it on June 9 and now it's 21st June so this mean mm, around 15 days to be here. Now let's see if the seller are still selling so to do the seller are still selling and you can choose between the kit how I buy it you can choose finish it or only one channel mono subwoofer if you like and as I mentioned that on the paper it says that it's really good ones so if we are going here down and say total harmonic distortion it's 0.001% up to 0.002% between 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz at 10 watts RMS into 8 ohms which is really good then uh, the frequency response is from 10 hertz to 25 kilohertz with a plus minus 0 0.02 dB of uh, lossless then it say that the voltage gain is 34 times uh, as I say in the paper looks like it's a really good one and as I say it's around but here it say 200 watts into 8 ohm at the total uh, voltage of dual 65 volts so that's how I'm gonna use that transformer which I show you in the previous video I'm gonna take down a few turns of the widening and then I'm gonna try to manage to get the dual 65 volt DC from that transformer because how is this now I'm getting dual 80 volts DC from it so I can see here the square wave or, and the sin wave it's looking good so stay tuned Please subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss when I'm gonna do the test of these uh, boards, when I'm gonna put all the components together and I'm gonna give a test to see if it's everything how say here on the paper. And if you are interested to buy a pair of these ones, you're gonna find the link on the description below. So let's enjoy a bit more beer. And now let's get the big one on the table. This one is a big one, so I can see that there is some uh, sender Chulian Pei, so coming from China, okay. And it say here description of goods, exhaust fan. Okay, and I remember what is, because uh, a part of electronics I'm doing also something else. So let's first opening this one and then I'm gonna tell you in a minute the story why I buy this one. Get away from where I can't get it easy to don't cut it. Okay, so I actually tell him when I buy this one because coming from China, I told them to make sure that they're gonna pack it well to avoid any. Thing to get broke until reach to me here. Let's first get to eat because they really, really listened to me and they did a really good job to be well protected. Have a look at this kind of airbag. 
everything inside is protected so let's try to get out without broken the bug uh, if I can remove it from here it should come slowly slowly it should come slowly slowly uh, it's quite difficult to get out from here uh, yes so finally it's out so let's see how this fun works Oh, it's plugged, but show me that I can connect it straight away to the, the power. So let's have a look how it is. This nothing more than that, just, just instruction how to connect it. Okay, so a little instruction who knows uh, Chinese, good, 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 good to read say something over there but I don't know oh this is good it's good uh, one like this one to receive it so let's have a look how this work because what they told me on there should be this kind of you open this one you should be here opening this one and this one closing but it's not what was was not what was uh, mentioned there I was thinking with these ones you turn on and you stop the motor so mm, looks like those one you just open the, the hole and you close the hole mm. so this one i think is the one that's running continuously in this case mm. so i need to do some modification in this case because for what i need there is totally different things there i need to use some way maybe i need to see how they install it because let me explain why i buy this one so this one I buy because uh, like two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago I start to do some repairs on my bathroom because a few of the tiles was moving and was about to fall, fall down from the wall. So I say before my baby come let me adjust a bit the bathroom. So as you can see in these pictures these tiles that I adjusted and I have this space over here where should be a fan that apparently was missing so I don't have a fun so in this case i managed to find this one to be the right size for that place and uh, as i say what i was thinking that when i pull the cord it will gonna turn on the fun and when i pull the other cord it will gonna switch off the fun but i think you with this one you just open and close the the, the, the hole and the fan it will gonna run continuously I'm gonna see how that it will gonna works maybe I can try to do a test to see because I have the cord and I have this one but I need to understand if it's okay so whatever I say here is 220 volts so this means it should work in UK is not because as a plug look like it's the US one but mm -hmm. US they don't have 220 volts they have only 110 volts but also here in all diagram uh, it should be the models that they have here this one should be the size in millimeter this one should be the voltage that work and looks like in only 220 volts from so only the plug well I don't know how it works 220 volts to only 100 volts I can give a try to see how that works so let me just bring the extension over here and see how that works here we go the extension is here let's have a look let's have a look first let me move my beard till the end there let's see let's see what's happening over here nothing happen
nothing happened. It was not working. What? It's not working. Why that doesn't work? Do I need to turn to open it and to see if there is any switch around there? Because as you can see, it doesn't work. I don't know why. I really yeah. and this one has power, definitely has power here. It doesn't want to work. Anyway, I'm gonna see what's uh, what's going on, why it doesn't work. I'm gonna open and I'm gonna check. Now let's go to my computer to show you how much I pay on, how long it takes here to be here, and from where I buy it. So the extractor fan I buy it's same from AliExpress, and I ordered it on June 6, and now it's 21st June, so same like 15 days, and it's here. And as I say, I really text uh, before ordering the, the the seller, and I ask him to do this favor for me to pack them really well in order that doesn't get any crack or something to be here. It is a really good seller. Looks like he really listened to my uh, request and he really packed it really well. Now let's see if they are still selling these items. They are still selling and as I say they have different sizes and that's why there is different prices. So if you go 6 inch and let's say you want the UK one and it's 15 pounds. If you go to the 4 inch is 11 pounds. And if you go to order the one that I ordered is the 8 inch is costing 16 pounds and 17 so that's why I say that, uh, see, when I read about it, I read that it's a pull wire change ventilator mutilage suction exhaust. So that's why I was, was telling me why would the cord, you switch it on and switch it off. So first I was surprised it was not working just because I don't pull enough the cord down. So that's why I was not uh, turning on. So then I realized that I need to pull the cord more in order to turn it on. Now you can see I buy this one to fix the bathroom and I'm really happy that I receive it. If you are interested on any kind of this kind of uh, exhausted fan you're gonna find the link on the description below. So yeah practically it's working and it's properly how I read it over there. They say that if you pull the cord it should turn on and then if you pull, pull the other side of the cord it should turn off and it, this is what he's doing. So that's why it was not working because I don't pull the cord until the end. So let me just plug it back here and how you can see now it's all closed, covered so the, 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 the motor doesn't spin and as soon as I pull this cable until the max, how you can see, it's turned on and as soon as I Pull this one back, it's closing and the motor stops. So yeah, it's probably the one that I needed. And now I just need to modify because uh, on my bathroom is not with the plug. I need just to chop up this uh, cable and connect the wire straight away to the ha have inside of that box that you saw in that picture has inside a um, connector where I connect the wire straight away. So guys, this was the mailbag video for today. Stay tuned, subscribe, activate the notification bell because as soon as I get some time now, because you know, with the baby, the time is not that much on my favor because I need to look after him as well. It's not only my wife to look after him, I need to look after him, I need to give him, feed him sometimes. And if he's not sleeping, I need to try to make him sleep. These ones are for that power supplies that definitely also when I get time I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna make a video and this is for my bathroom which I see the picture that I refurbished a bit my uh, my bathroom I repaired actually because it was uh, a bit in danger so I say let's get this one done before the baby comes so like two weeks ago three weeks ago I finished the bathroom only that I was missing this fan now I can mount it over there and last Saturday on 11 June my baby come thanks God both of them are healthy and good wife and baby now just when I have time, I need to mount this one in the bathroom on that place. And this was all for this uh, video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate. If you like it, don't forget to put a like. And uh, until the next video, guys. Cheers and bye-bye.